Howdy, howdy, all you shoppers. My name is Becky, Ar Becky Arnett O'Karmus. I am a designer of Chalk Couture, and I want to hang out with you guys just for a little bit and show you um, the Chalk Basics with Chalk Couture. So Chalk Couture is a pretty much a DIY company. We specialize in reusable transfers, chalk paste, ink, and a wide range of surfaces. Super easy, super fast, super fun. So um, make sure once I'm done, keep an eye on my post and um, I'll give you the link to my VIP page, my business page, and my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and follow so that you can see more demonstrations of some product. So I want to start off today with just kind of showing you our transfers and the different sizes that we have. So this is our size A transfer. It's a 5 by 7 this is just an idea, just to kind of give you an idea of sizes. This is a size B. It's an eight and a half by 11. This is a size C. It's a 12 by 18. And then some of these are going to be retired that I'm showing you. So if you see one you like, then just let me know. Hey, Becky, I want that one, okay? Because um, once I get rid of what I've got in my inventory, then it'll be gone. I believe this one's a retired one. So this is an 18 by 18. And then we have one even bigger than that, guys. We have an 18 by 24. Look at this. This is like a statement piece. Okay, this one is also retired. So this one's called Darling. And I only have one left in my stock of that one. So that just kind of gives you an idea of some sizes of our transfers. We've got a whole bunch of sayings. And then we're going to be playing around with some smaller sizes tonight. Today. It's not really tonight, right? Okay, we're going to be playing around with our board and base, which is what I love. So this is our board and base. This happens to be another whatever transfers for you cat lovers. This board is two-sided. It can go um, horizontal and it also can go vertical. It sits on a countertop. Super cute, super fun. I love, love, love the chalkboards because you can erase them and reuse it when you're ready to change out your decor. That's pretty neat. That's what got me to chalk couture to begin with is because it's so easy to change out your decor if you like to go out get a facelift from spring to summer to fall to Christmas. You can always change up your decor really, really easily. So we're going to play playing around with the back of this one. Let's bring you down. Let me show you how this works out. Okay. So this is just a chalkboard and we're going to put one of these cute little things. Let's do this one. Enjoy the little things. So this one is another five by seven. As you can tell, it's been used before. It's got a little bit of staining on it. Sometimes it'll stain, but that's okay. It still works fine. Yes, guys, they are reusable. Reusable, you can get normally um, eight to 12 uses out of a transfer, sometimes more. And so they are adhesive back. So it's like a big giant sticker, big giant sticker. And then this is like a silk screen mesh in here. That's where your paste or your ink is gonna go through and then you're gonna put it on your surface. Now, these transfers can go on a wide range of surfaces. Now, I'm using a chalkboard here, but it can go on glass, mirror, tin, wood. You can move it over. You can put it like on your front door. Some people have put these on the back of your car, like your windshield. We've got this cute little stick family that people are putting on the back of their cars. Um, you can put this on furniture. If you're trying to like do a little updo on some furniture. Now, I, this is chalk paste. Chalk paste is water-based, non-toxic. It's going to come off with water. And then I'm going to use a squeegee. So it's kind of like my paintbrush. And we're just going to do this in white. So if you can put butter on a piece of toast, then you can do what I'm doing here, guys. Super, super easy. So we're using bright white. I'm using the tip of this is what we call a squeegee for those that have never been exposed to chocolate oil before. And you're just going to spread that across on your transfer. So this is chalk basics. I'm going to show you the basics of how easy this is. Okay, I've got that transfer covered up with the paste. All this excess is going to go back into my jar. Now I do offer a whole lot of kits. If you haven't saw any of the kits that I have been um, posting so far, then jump up top once I'm done, hit that topic button and you'll see all of my posts and you can see a lot of my little kits that I've done. And a lot of my kits are gonna come pretty much with everything. You're gonna get a surface, you're gonna get a transfer, you're gonna get some paste singles. So there won't be the jar, but there'll be singles. And then look, all I'm doing is removing this transfer. 
Okay, remember this is reusable, so I'm gonna be able to reuse it again and again. I'm just gonna put it right over here. I'm gonna show you how to clean one a little later on. And look what we did, guys. Look at what we did here in about, what, two minutes maybe? It's gonna go into our little base here. And voila, we made something super easy. This is a craft easy enough for the kiddos be a great family time to get together with your family and create something. So this is our board and base. And then let me show you another surface. Well, let me show you this one first. This one is our spinning bistro board. This one is super fun. It's another chalkboard so you can erase or reuse it. The transfers for this one has to go vertical. It does not turn horizontal, but it does spin. Isn't that super fun? Time to eat and feels like home. So that's the spinning bistro board. And then we're gonna create something else on this one. This is our whiteboard and pillar stand. So this one's only one-sided, so you're not gonna be able to create anything on the back of this one, but it does just go horizontal and it also goes vertical as well. And then this one's super cute, right? I came, I saw, I forgot what I was doing. This is me to a T, me to a T. Now this one's already been on here. So when our paste goes on, it goes on wet and it dries to a matte like finish. And I was talking to someone earlier and I told you it was very durable. See, it's not like your typical chalk. When I think of chalk in school, you do that, it's smeared. Okay, fingernails, it's still there. It's very, it's very durable. But we're gonna wanna take it off because we're done with this. I wanna show you how easy it is to remove it when you're ready to take it off. You're just gonna spread some water on here just to loosen up that chalk. And then we're gonna use a paste scraper. Scrape that off. I like to scrape mine to the center because then I come back with a paper towel and grab all my chalk crumbs. This is what got me into chalk couture to begin with is because I saw how easy it is to change out your decor. And I don't know if you guys are like me where you kind of have storage problems, mostly for Christmas time. Okay, this is our board eraser. I know mine is not the prettiest condition, but it's like a, it's like a magic eraser. But these are not harsh on our um, surfaces or on our transfers because we can clean our transfers with these as well. So there we go. Then I'm gonna take my fuzzing cloth. It's got microfiber on the other side and we're going to dry this off. So I just showed you guys how to remove your image on a chalkboard. See how easy that was? Because we're gonna reuse it. We're gonna reuse it. We're gonna make this cute little one time to eat. I know um, someone was interested in some kitchen decor. So why not time to eat? That's pretty kitchen decor related, right? So as you can tell, it's stained again because I have used this guy a few times. And then we're gonna do what's called fuzzing. Just gonna put it on my terry cloth material a couple of times just to loosen that stick on the back because remember, these are sticky. You're gonna loosen the stick a little bit. We're gonna put it on our chalkboard. Center it up a little bit. Center it up again. And this time we're gonna change out our color. That last one we done what I call like a chalk basic. We done one color for everything. This time, let me show you how to change it out with some different colors. So I think we're gonna do our words and white. Let's do our greenery and some green. Just a little bit, a little goes a long ways. So remember I told you that if you get any of my kits that I put together, you're gonna get some chalk singles. Those are like little um, catch-up pouches. And they're gonna be able to do normally about two to three projects. So you're gonna get quite a bit of paste in there because you don't need a whole lot of paste to do this. I'm gonna get up just a little bit and do the top of my tomato with the green. we'll go into the red really quick and then we're gonna pull it up. 
So now we're going to do some candy apple red. So super, super easy. If you have any questions, just put them below in the comments. If you're watching the replay, put replay and then let me know if you have any questions. Once I'm done, I will um, either edit my top of this video and give you the link to my VIP page, or either I will throw it below in the comments. One of those two sections, you'll be able to find my VIP page. You know, this event is winding down, so I don't want you guys to lose contact. I want to keep you in my little circle of friends. So we're just going to kind of lift this up a little bit and kind of remove that transfer. You don't want your paste to dry. So all I did was kind of lift it up because I'm going to move on to another color. And depending on how fast or how slow you're moving, sometimes your paste will dry. So this is just a good technique just to kind of lift it up out of that transfer while you're moving on. If you've only got one squeegee, you know, you're going to have to clean your squeegee before you move on to the next color. So that gives you time to do that. You don't have to worry about your paste drying. So now I'm just going to press down these words that I have not chalked yet. We're going to go back to white. I just love black and white. That is timeless. Totally timeless. So if you haven't had a chance to jump over to my online store and take a look at all the transfers, it's chalkcouture.com slash crafts by Becky and the number two. Take a look. If you see something that you like, yeah, shoot me a message and I'll make sure that you're getting everything that you need. Or either just send me a message and I will help you um, get everything that you need. Because you're going to need a transfer paste, a surface perhaps, unless you have some chalkboards or something already hanging out. And you're going to need a squeegee. To be able to do this okay you ready let's see what we just did here look at there guys put that right here look at that how stinking gorgeous is that just like you picked it up in a store right and we did it right here we're going to put this back in my little pillar stand i love how this frame sits up so this is a great piece to have some layering for your decor, like maybe this one. And you know, you could have this one off to the side, but probably going this other way with a little kitty cat. We do have a transfer for dog lovers. Actually, we've got a couple. We've got some new ones. It's got the cat and the dog with the little stick people. So see, isn't that cute? That would, that would be kind of cute on your mantle together. Super, super cute. And we've done that. we done that. Okay, we of course, we've done this side. This is the one we did, but I just kind of wanted to show you those two. Okay, now we're going to jump up to a bigger size. We're going to go up to our size B. That's the 8.5 by 11, Blessed Beyond Measure. I think this one would look stinking cute like on an apron. Wouldn't this be cute on an apron? Because remember, for those that have um, been talking with me, we're playing around with chalk today, but we also have an ink line which would go on fabrics like pillowcases, t-shirts, um, an apron, things that's going to be permanent. You either can put this on coffee cups and wine glasses. Super duper fun. We're going to put this on our Sylvie board. So I'm using a chalkboard again because I like that versatility of being able to change out my stuff. So our Sylvie board has the hooks on the back so it can go this way or it can go this way. You've got that nice wide um, frame. Beautiful. And we're going to use this. Now, on the back of our transfers does come with some instructions just to kind of help you out. But if you join my VIP page or over on my business page, you'll have tons and tons of videos to help you out. I go live twice a week, and I actually play a little game over on my business page. So I will have um, a demonstration tonight at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock p.m. Crafts by Becky in the number two. You'll be able to find me there. Okay, so once again, we've got Lornelli, our transfer. Remember, it's a big giant sticker, super duper sticky. You've got that silk screen, which you'll be able to see a little bit bigger on this one since it is a bigger transfer. And then we're going to fuzz it again. Let me get my fuzzing cloth down here. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, 
you can just use a towel. Worst case scenario, use your shirt, your jeans, just to pick up a little lint. Especially for this one because it's a brand new one. You saw me take it out of the pack. So this one has not been used before. Make sure my hook is this direction. Get this centered on our board. But I fully plan on making this transfer on an apron. So I will be using this transfer again and putting on an apron. For sure, it's a coming. It's a coming. I think for this one, Oh, I see some more green here, so we'll have to use our green again. And I think we're going to use yellow for our cute little measuring cups. I'm trying to get it so you can see me. Crooked, but you can still see me. Okay, so there's my green. I'm going to need yellow. I'll go ahead and do the green again. Maybe it would be the white. Okay, what's my time frame here? Got to be quick since I'm in an event over on my business page. I always try to stay within 30 minutes, but sometimes, depending on my project, sometimes I kind of go over, but that's always my goal to do it in 30 minutes. So we're taking the bright white again and doing the words. Super easy. Like I said, if you can put butter on a piece of toast, then you can do what I'm doing. If you're catching the replay, then put hashtag replay in the comments so I know you stopped by. During the month of May, we um, Chalk Couture is doing what's called a transfer palooza. That is, you buy two transfers, any sizes, and you can get the third one for free. Now that's going to be over in my online store chocotour.com slash crafts by Becky the number two for our club members that's our subscription club um, you can also get some chalk paste jars there's two different trio sets that you can get for half off I did post that special earlier today so you can jump over remember jump on that topic hit topic look for chocotour and then you can find all my kits I previously have posted, as well as the, that special. And that can be also stacked. So if you want more than three, you know, you buy two, get one free. You can buy four and then get two free. And then if you want to join my subscription club, then you join the club first. It's $19.99 per month. You get an exclusive transfer once a month along with three pay singles. And then you get to partake in our monthly specials and deals and flat rate shipping. And our May special is those jars of paste for half off. Okay, y'all ready to see what we just did? Let's see. Fill and reveal. Look how stinking awesome is that. Stinking awesome. Look, look what we did. And I used Bumblebee, the green, and then the white. And we put this on our 9x12 Sylvie frame. Super gorgeous. Okay, so let me show you how to clean a transfer really quick. So I can show you all the basics. I've shown you how to chalk on three different surfaces. Two different size transfers. How to take off an image off of a chalkboard. And now we're going to clean one of our transfers. Let's clean this one. So this is just some water. No soap, no detergent, nothing in here but water. That's all that's in here is water. Now you can use your fingers. You can massage that paste out of that transfer. Now if you were using ink, same thing. You would still massage the ink out of the transfers. But you're going to find out if you go ahead and grab you a board eraser. They're $2.99 for two of these. This is the best cleaning tool you'll ever find run across to clean these makes cleanup so much faster I'm cleaning the front I'm gonna flip it over and clean the back I 
Now, this looks like super duper fun and you'd be interested in how to chalk and make money. We do have two business kits that you can grab. Um, our standard kit is $99. You get $250 worth of chalk wonderfulness in that kit. Or you could start for as low as $19. So if you'd like some more information about that, then shoot me a message or put business below in the comments and I'll come back and answer your questions. We do also have a business information group that I would love to invite you to. Loaded with tons and tons of information on how you can chalk and make some money. Super fun craft and why not make money too? Okay, so we cleaned the front and the back of this. Remember this one we've used before. It's got some staining on it. That's fine. You're going to pretty much let it dry, air dry. You're probably gonna do this in the sink, not the way that we've done it today, but just to give you an idea. And then I let it dry sticky side up. So I would just sit it on the side of my sink, let it dry, and then it's ready to go back on your backing sheet. But for the sake of this demo tonight, I'm going to flip this over to my microfiber side. And we're just gonna dry it really quick. So this is a fuzzing cloth. It's got terry cloth on one side. It's got that microfiber on the back of it for drying. Okay, once you have it dry, you're gonna put it back on its backing sheet. This is a great way to store it. So our backing sheet has like a matte side on one side and a glossy side on the other. Can you see the glossy? And it's gonna go sticky to glossy, sticky to glossy. And there you go. You can store it until the next time you want to use it and create with it. These are nice and flat. They store wonderfully, like in the bottom of um, a dresser, like maybe underneath your socks or something, or up at mine in an art portfolio book is how I store mine. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little product tutorial on Chalk Basics. Remember, my business page is Crafts by Becky and the number two. Keep your eyes peeled below and I'll post that link for you. And come back and see me at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time, and we will do something else over on my business page. Y'all take care, and thanks for hanging out. Bye.